Hello guys and welcome to episode 17 of my Orsha campaign in Still Division 2 playing on the Axis side. Today we're continuing after making most of the moves in this turn. We managed to wipe out quite a few battalions and win a lot of battles. We did push through with the 1st and 2nd Battalion of the 119th, but this may have been a bit premature, especially with this unit here, uh, because I've left a gap between the AA and the infantry that they can move into and reconnect with, which is going to suck. I don't think I have anything here that's in range to fill the gap, so yeah, we're kind of screwed in that position. And the only other thing I need to do is use up my points, or maybe save them. I do at some point want to bring in the Panzer Abteilung 501, which is the heavy panzer battalion here with the Tiger E's. These are going to be pretty useful for making aggressive pushes if I want to keep pushing through until the end of the campaign. So I'll get these in at some point, but we need 25 points for those, which is another 5 points. So what I was thinking is maybe I can spend 10 points on one of the reserves and then leave the other 10 points, add the 15 in the next turn, bring the Tigers in. I think that's probably the best way to do it. Let's have a look at these reserves and see what we've got. So there's a bunch up north that we could bring in from the 256th, but they'd all have to come in back here at the moment because we don't control this flag. So I don't think that's ideal. There's a 78th Sturm Division. Uh, these battalions are actually quite good. Uh, they've got the 5th Mortar Battalion, the 178th Pioneer Battalion, and the 78th Assault Division HQ. Uh, this has a lot of Urzats, which is alright for defensive maneuvers, but the Pioneer Battalion would be the, the main one that we're paying for here and that we might actually use. Uh, then there's the Sidrungs, but these are coming in without any vehicles, so wouldn't be very good on the offense, but decent on defense if we maybe just wanted to like support the mid uh, because I think what I'm going to have to do in the next turn if these guys get surrounded is probably attack the 1st Battalion of the 243rd with the 1st Battalion of the 195th because the 794 Security Battalion here is extremely weak unless I maybe move over the 519th Tank Heavy Tank Destroyer Battalion but they would have to attack the 3rd Battalion of the 75th, which is the highest strength. Whereas the 2nd Battalion of the 243rd is very weak. So I'd like to be able to attack those, and I'd like to be able to attack those. Like, one of those two would be the best target, the 1st and 2nd Battalion, as opposed to the 3rd Battalion of the 75th. But if I move this closer, next turn we'll have 3 action points, so we might be able to have them join in Phase B, which could be useful. So let's just shift them over for the time being, because these guys aren't going to get attacked anyway. Uh, all of those are, are more or less safe for this turn. Uh, this might get attacked by the 1st Battalion of the 1st Guards AT Brigade, so we're going to have to worry about that. But otherwise, yeah, we're more or less okay. All right, going back to what we're going to bring in. Uh, there is a 260th reserve here. They got an infantry division filled with Urzats, 653rd Pioneer Battalion, and a couple of artillery that were coming down here. Uh, then there's the 260th. Did we just look at those? Yeah. Uh, what's the other one? So yeah, it's just 78th Sturm, 256th and 260th. I thought there was one in the 25th Panzergren Division, but no. So I think the best one would be the Sturm Division. We can use the Pioneer Battalion in the middle. It's actually quite a nice aggressive little battalion here and could support what's going on with this surround or potential surround on our units so we'll bring those in just here now I've got to decide where I want to send them so we could send them across the bridge to help out the 794 security battalion but as you can see we don't actually have much range there so I think I'm more likely to just send them up the center for now and we'll, we can have them replace the position of the 1st Battalion, the 175th, like next turn, because we'll use that to attack down. They'll go onto the bridge. Uh, then these guys can come across and fill the gap where the 195th Assault Regiment is. Uh, this unit could possibly go across the bridge. 
I don't think we need them here because we do have the two HQ sections there anyway. So I think going down here is not a bad idea with those. And we could also move the 5th Mortar Battalion down there. Because I don't think we need those in the middle either. Okay, cool. Well, that's everything. Uh, let's see what the AI does in the next turn. The breakout from VTEPS has failed completely. 53rd Corps is annihilated. Or 53rd Corps. Unfortunately, we can only change history on our front, <laughs> not every front of the wall. Okay, that's interesting. It looks like they haven't managed to enclose our units. But they have managed to recover the ground onto their own units, so they're no longer surrounded. Right, the 2nd Battalion of the 119th Panzergrim Regiment is being attacked. And I think the best way to deal with this is... Push hard in A and just win as soon as possible. They could bring in some aircraft, so I'm going to have to consider that. I could just bring in fighters, you know, like maybe maybe the Focke Wars wouldn't be a bad idea. But the Focke Wolf bombers, they can bomb the AT guns and then they can shoot down enemy aircraft if they come along. Or we can use the first support wing here with the JU-87 gunners which are pretty good for dealing with like AT guns and stuff. I think we're going to give the, the Focke Wolves a good go. Sort of fighter bombers that will be useful in both aspects as opposed to having to bring both the fighter wing and the close support wing. I'm going to keep the second night bomber group for whenever I need to destroy tanks because they have the cluster AP. Alright we'll do that. Uh, let's see what they bring in. Oh, they are bringing in two aircraft. Okay. Um, I thought they would only bring one, maybe, and then bring in a ground regiment, but no. Okay, that's that's interesting. Hmm. So there's going to be no timer, really. We can take this as easy as we want. Just got to make sure that we win, <laughs> which isn't going to be terribly difficult, I don't think. Alright, so I might actually be quite aggressive. I'm going to spread out defensively for the most part initially. Could actually use MG42s. 1,500 meter range there could be pretty useful. Especially in like across these buildings here. If I had like four or five of them, any AT gun that shows itself is just going to get destroyed. But I think for now we're just going to take it easy. I'm going to just have some Panzergrens around just to kind of hold the front line for the time being. I might put down like a couple of recon units or something so I can see where the AT guns get deployed at the start. Let's just do that. Uh, we're going to need at least one for call recon. And then I'm going to rely on the ones with the 250 kilogram bombs. I think they're more likely to get the kills. I can afford three of those at the start if I just leave it as is. We have a little bit of a gap there. Let's just fill that. Shift that one over. Okay, I think that'll do. Um, let's launch the battle. Bring out the Fork Wolf. And we'll bring out these as well. Yeah, maybe we'll push. Oh, what's that? P2? Yeah, okay. What two aircraft did they bring in? The 10th Recon. And the 621st Assault Regiment. Okay, so it's IL-2s and recon aircraft. Interesting. All right, well, we can definitely shoot them down. Oh, what's that? Those P-2... Oh, they're P-2 fighters. They're heavy fighters. Interesting. Well, we're going to shoot them down. <laughs> they're fog wolves. Perfect. Although I think they're faster than my bombers. Yeah, they're faster than the Focke Wolves. 
Uh, not my recon fuck off, thankfully, but uh, <laughs> there we go. All right, let's uh, start moving these forwards because it doesn't look like they're going to be too aggressive, which is nice. Uh, so we can take the opportunity to move up and spot their units and then we can bomb them and, and carry on, basically. Uh, let's just get the recon to shoot that down. I'm probably going to bomb that AT gun there as well. I'm not actually sure this will get the kill. It only has a couple machine guns. Probably won't do enough damage. Oh wait, there's another one there. Yeah, that might end up shooting down a fuck off G8 if I'm not careful. It's uh, radiators overheating. I don't think we shot down the other one, unfortunately. But it seems as though we're making a bit of ground here. Do I bring in more Bok Wolves? Not sure. I'm just going to use that one to bomb. That one can just fly around and continuously give us recon information. Yeah, these are about to run out of fuel, so I need to actually use their bombs before they do. Wait, what are they? Oh, those are the IL-2s. Hmm. Are these faster? They are slightly faster. The ones with less bombs are slightly faster. Oh, this one's much, much faster. Okay, we'll use that. Great. We're shooting down the IL-2s. I don't think any of those... Oh, one of them used the bombs. Right, it looks like we're going to be right on time here. Nice. Well, I'll take one. And we'll go bomb the other one on the left. We won't have time to shoot down the IL-2 anyway. Okay, uh, we'll bring in more of these. The ones that didn't drop their bombs should come back relatively quickly. Although, it looks like it's going to take a while for them to repair. I guess they took some damage from the side guns from the PE-2s. Which is unfortunate. Well, we are, like I said, making ground anyway, so that's okay. Um, this Panzergrand just needs to hide for the time being. I'm going to bring one in to replace that, or just push up with that. I might bring up some to the centre as well. If we can get into this town, that'd be fantastic. Are they using the Ziz 3s as artillery? It, actually, that would explain why they're not really pushing. Ooh, that's a bomber. Okay, didn't manage to kill that off. Good. Alright, let's just use the G8 to bomb the Ziz-3, and I might just keep it around. Uh, let's have that leave. Kind of playing with fire there. I think it's pretty low on health. Well, it's not oil leaking just yet, but... Surely took some damage from the guns from the PE-2s. Right, if these can get this far up without being hit, then I can probably get... Opal Blitz up that far. Maybe I can get into the town like I mentioned. It'll be good. Fastest way to win this is by capturing their spawns, but if they've got loads of this threes like stacked on top of each other, I would have to like bomb them, but then they're just gonna constantly replace them. So it's gonna take me a little while to have enough bombers to consistently kill their AT guns fast enough to take the spawns. Are we in range there? No, we're not. If I could get the MG in range, we might be able to kill those quite easily. Oh, I shouldn't have evac that. That was going to shoot down the P2. Oops. Oh well. Alright, let's just go ahead and bomb that. Have my Fock Wolf fly across. Alright, so there's the two here. Just bomb those. They do cost three points of pop, I think. Are we stopping that spawn? Oh, we are. Okay, cool. We're stopping this spawn already. That's nice. That's going to force them to come in in other places. If I bomb that, there is one on the right still. But I'm not sure it has line of sight on my Panzergrens, so my Panzergrens might be able to, like, aggressively attack here. 
Yeah, that doesn't have line of sight. So let's just give that an attack order. I think it does have sight onto those, so we won't move them forwards yet. Nice, okay, good. Right, that one can attack that one, probably kill it. Which I guess I could strafe with these as well. Why didn't I do that? Yeah, they're going to have quite good strafing capability. And that means when they bring in their aircraft as well, we still have them around. So, yeah, we're definitely going to keep doing that. Uh, let's move forwards the Panzergrens on this side. We do have a couple of new Panzergrens units arriving. I'm probably going to have to... I was going to say have to kill that one, but this is just two, so that's okay. Uh, let's fuck off. Might get shot down. What's he doing? What's he doing? Oh my. I think he's very dead right now. We'll, we'll give him an evac. Hopefully we can get on to him in time. Alright, let's move these forwards. Uh, this might work out quite well for us if it keeps turning in. Another one of those P2s though, that really sucks. I'm going to have to get my G1 over here. This is crazy. There's just so many P2s and I think that fuck was dead. I uh, lost track of him. It's not good. That one should have got the kill there, but didn't. Okay, that's that one gone. Hopefully we can tack on to that one. Oh, those Panzergrens died. Hmm. What did they get killed by? Oh, the IL-2s. Okay, that's fair enough. Damn, this is going to get messy, guys. <laughs> I'm just saying now. <laughs> that poor Panzergren unit. <laughs> He's a goner. He is a goner. Right, let's just uh, attack this IL-2. And we need to make sure we're bombing those AT guns ASAP. That one needs to fall back. Oh, that one's being attacked from the right hand side. Alright, let's just bomb that one that's right in front of our infantry. And I might just strafe this one on the right hand side. Alright, we shot down that. Perfect. Took out that one that was in front of us. Nice. Alright, let's bring in some more Panzergrounds for that left hand side. We're getting the bomb off on that one. Let's move forwards here. That doesn't get the kill there. Okay, it did. I was going to say, we have plenty of aircraft that can strafe, so no worries. Let's uh, keep moving forward then with these lot. Alright, we got that one. Good. They can't have many of those. I'm pretty sure the recon regiments... Like the air recon have very limited amounts of aircraft we must have got through most of them already but yeah we lost control of that reinforcement point which is unfortunate but we should still be able to push forwards on this right hand side i think might be able to get away with that let's just put a couple more in that town i'm probably going to have these two come across the open behind this one so we can push over all right, Focke Wolf recon, please, and we'll bring in more of the Focke Wolf G8s with the 250 kilogram bombs. Have them floating about so that I can 
bomb these this threes if need be, like that one there. As soon as I get into here, I think we're okay, so that's all good. Oh, never mind. Looks like the IL-2s are coming in for a piece of my Panzergrenz. I might be able to shoot him down. Hmm. Right, there's a couple of this threes there. We'll just give the bombing order. And this two on the right hand side. Get that into the building there. Uh, we lost Panzergren to the IL-2s. Mm. Those incendiary napalm IL-2s are actually lethal to those squads. Which is to be expected, but still. <laughs> Right, we should be able to take out any guns that are there, that's all good. Nice, we are wrecking these guns that we're finding. Perfect. Let's hit those this threes with a bomb. That one can leave. Right, we'll bring in some more Panzergrenz for the left-hand side, because this is where we're going to have to push to finish the game. We've almost got control of this reinforcement point. We've got the control of the one on the right. But they're going to be more concentrated on the left, so we're going to want to bring our stuff there. We killed that one firing across, which is good. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on, fuck a wolf, please crit. <sighs> Damn it. Those recon fuck wolves are really not good at dogfighting. So I lost the fuck wolf there, that's unfortunate. We do have plenty more of them, so it's, it's not the end of the world if I'm losing my fuck wolves. But I'd just rather minimize losses wherever I can. That looks like those Panzergrams are probably dead unless I can maybe dodge some of the bombs. Oh no, okay, they missed. That's good. Although it's not going to have to dodge the other IL-2 as well. Let's make sure we hit that with the Vokka Wolves as they come in. Right, I think that's missed as well. They probably didn't have recon information. Which is good. Uh, those two can go and hit the P2. Bomb those. And they probably need to bomb those as well. Okay, uh, that's good. Have those sit in position. Start swinging stuff over to the left a bit more. Great. Are we going to get in range there? Oh, we are. Okay, finally. <laughs> the trouble is with that recon is it's just a little bit too fast. <laughs> it's a little bit too fast. Oh, that one's dead. Okay, good. We should have enough time on target with the air recon to be able to shoot that one down at least. I hope. Oh, well, maybe not. <laughs> it's gonna get away. Unless my Vogel Wolf can finish it off. Okay, good. <laughs> Finally. Okay, so we'll start pushing through here. I'll probably leave one there. Um, we'll have this one keep pushing up. Oh no, poor Panzergrenz. Oh, they might have survived as well. Damn. We're going to get both of them? Oh, we are. Nice. Perfect. Uh, let's unload these. And these. And these. Alright, good. <laughs> that missed as well. Perfect. Uh, we need to come across and shoot these down. Alright, we've got enough to bring in so many more Focke Wolves, so <laughs> let's go ahead and do so. 
going to make sure I on with them as well. Alright, we'll have that fall back. These need to come forwards. Give them attack move orders. We can push through. Otherwise the uh, Zis 3s will just hit us like artillery. Wait, there's a P2 here? Hello? <laughs> I'm just going to have them all ball onto the P2 heavy fighter, so I just don't have to deal with it. Mm, we're getting a lot of like front shots onto the P2, but we're not able to get on its tail at the moment, which is unfortunate. I right, should probably be able to kill that one. Okay, take out that AT gun that they're moving forwards there. That's another Zis 3. I mean, honestly, this would be a way to just wipe out the unit. <laughs> Done well so far. Total defeat for them in 15 minutes. Doing a lot of damage. Uh, taking out a lot of these annoying aircraft in the process. I think that unit's dead though, that Panzergren there. Unless they lose line of sight, possibly. I mean, it might be alright. Actually, that still has a bomb, so let's just use that. Nice. Killed that one. Great, those bombs hit the mark nicely as well. And there goes that unit, yeah. Probably should have fallen them back further, but that's okay. And there's just so many units coming in, this is ridiculous. I think it's because we like went into phase B and they just had like loads of points to spend. I just keep shifting these forwards and I'll probably bring in more Panzergrens on the left hand side. Killed that one nicely. If I can strafe the Stidbecca there, that would be good. Nice. Right, that IL2 missed as well. Good stuff. Have these Vokovs flying around so that we have them available. We cut off this spawn as well now. Good. So we're just dealing with this one and this one on the left. Uh, where's my recon when I need it? <laughs> we'll bring that in. You can see the remaining units then. And work from those. Right, let's just focus down this PE2. Get my recon aircraft to shoot it down. Just like double team it with both my recon. Should get the job done. Go on, Fock Wolf. Get it. Go on, Recon, Fock Wolf. You can do it. You can do it. I know you only have machine guns and no cannons, but you can do it. No, he's not going to do it. <laughs> Unfortunately. <laughs> nope. <laughs>
I couldn't even get onto the back of those, unfortunately, as well. I can get onto the back of this one, so that's all right. Shoot that down, no problem. Wonderful. Okay, we need to push forwards here because I need to see. Actually, I guess I could just bomb whatever's here. Yeah, we'll bomb all of those. There's like four of them there. It's <laughs> all sort of piling in on the same place. Oh, we captured a uh, supply. Give that to me. Thank you very much. Right, that's two more spawn points taken, so only one left is on the left. Okay, nice. We're nearly done. Let's bring in the rest of these fuck wolves. Here we go, fuck wolf bombing wing on its way. And I guess I'm gonna need uh, more Panzergrenz to just push this through. Because they're just gonna constantly bring in the reinforcements there now. Although saying that, we probably killed like the majority of the uh, AT guns already, so... All good. Here they go. The Fock Wolf bombing wing. Right, just get into those buildings. All of those over. Just have that one move up. Okay, cool. I guess most of their aircraft must be dead as well, or recharging at least. Right, let's uh, try and focus that down. Well, I think it's going to get away before we can get there. This is the G1 though. It's uh, got the faster speed, so maybe he can make it. it does have the two 20 mils in the wings. Yeah, he got it. Nice. Perfect. Go shoot down this P2 as well. Oh, they're overwhelmed. Okay, good. We did it. Total victory. Uh, maybe not as quick as I would have liked, but you know, it was it was decent. We definitely <laughs> did a lot of damage. That uh, first guards AT brigade is now very depleted. A lot of this threes and the uh, this twos dead, as well as all the IL twos and the P threes and twos. I think it's mostly P2s. But yeah, we lost uh, a few Panzergrenz to the bombing strikes, which is fine. And a couple of Fokker Wolves. <laughs> that was probably just bad micro on my end, but that's okay. But the amount we destroyed then, totally worth. Yep, completely destroyed the brigade. Oh, they've gone and surrounded us. Oh no, it's not good. But it is our turn again. Okay, right. So we only had one attack to defend against, but now we've got to find our way through this lot. Ooh, there's an interesting idea. This motorized rifle battalion here is not very strong. So we could potentially pile into that with the 1st th Battalion of the 35th Panzergren. We could remove the action points from the units nearby. Just kill that. And that would open up the way for our units again. 
surround all of these lot. Hmm. Interesting. All right, we're going to bring in the 501st. Here we go. The tigers have arrived. <laughs> Maybe we can use them like straight away. Just pile into the third battalion of the 75th guards. And uh, no, we don't want to attack them. I was thinking about attacking down from here, but the one we were going to attack moved away. I think it's possibly these guys. Or well, maybe attacking them would be better, but then that might not create the gap I want. Because these can't initiate attacks, unfortunately. Alright, well there's plenty we can do on this top side. Uh, we have a couple attacks we can push into here. Uh, we have the 2nd Battalion of the 215th Assault Regiment that can smash into the 1st Battalion of the 27th. So I think we're going to do that. I might have those dig in, but they're probably going to get attacked next turn because of the 27th Guards Rifle Regiment. Although I could maybe take away the action points from those, then the artillery just doesn't matter. Actually, if we attack those with the 2nd Battalion, those can join in. So I'm going to have to arty. Actually, no, I'm not. <laughs> Look, how <laughs> Look how bad this unit is. I guess they will allow them to bring in some aircraft. We could just bring in fighters, I guess. Yeah, I could just bring in fighters. I think I'm going to have to. Because this will initiate a battle, which is kind of silly, but... We'll tactical battle it. Oh, never mind. Oh. I was pretty sure that they were going to use the 1093rd Artillery Regiment here. Normally, if there's a three-star unit, even if the unit itself can't initiate the attack, it can still stop a routed unit from being destroyed by joining the battle. But I think what the AI did there was they didn't decide to use the 1093rd Artillery Regiment and instead chose to bring in the 67th Guards Mortar Regiment and an aircraft. And because they chose to do that instead, the unit just got destroyed. So... That's perfect. That works out in our favor anyway, so that's all good. All right, we're going to attack the 2nd Battalion of the 33rd Guards Rifle Regiment. Let's go ahead and wipe those out. Uh, again, uh, we might have to bring in aircraft, which is it's kind of annoying, actually. Actually, never mind. Uh, that didn't use up the action points here of the aircraft because we didn't actually use them. So we'll just do the same thing just in case. Uh, the... 3rd Battalion of the 33rd Guards Rifle Regiment can reinforce in Phase B. But these would be the ones in Phase A on the ground, so we can just win in Phase A. So that's what we're going to go for there. Alright. So, attack those. Add that. Add the 51st Fighter Wing. And Tactical Battle. Yeah, we're going to have to play this one out. They're using the Artillery and uh, that ground regiment there. Okay, um, we'll jump in and fight this on the battle map. Actually, do we have... Hmm. <laughs> oh dear. I'm not sure we have transports. Please say we have transports. Okay, good. <laughs> Whew. I noticed they didn't have any veterancy. And I was like, usually German units that don't have veterancy don't have transports. But then again, it's a breakthrough, so it probably wouldn't matter too much. Normally, having no transports makes you lose on Conquest games more than Breakthrough games. Because on Breakthrough you're attacking or defending, so the time is more or less always the same. Whereas on Conquest, if you just lose the entire map like straight away, which you do because all of your units are deployed on foot on your side of the map, then the game just ends very quickly. Uh, but in this case we can just do this, and uh, it didn't actually bring in any aircraft, so we don't have to worry about those. We just want to charge to the spawns. And that's pretty much it. Uh, I'll just do that, that, that. 
that, <laughs> that, and that. Okay, let's launch. Uh, then what I'm going to do is just bring in units on the flags, just so that it holds the front line forwards for us whilst we attack. Alright, we can just speed this up, it's not going to take very long. Then there will be like two units that we might bump into. It looks like one might be here. Probably start shooting at these in a second. But then again, we might just be able to surround them. Okay, never mind, we're going to have to unload these ones. Otherwise they're going to get killed. Oh, these only have DPs, don't they? Oh no, they do have MD-34s. Oh, okay. I thought they were doing a lot worse, but I guess they're probably not doing much damage because of the extra veterancy. But we'll just unload a second one nearby. Although these ones have DPs, which is uh, not good. But at least we can help pin those down. That's all we need to do at the end of the day. Okay, we're nearly there. Rounded those guys. Wonderful. That's the only two units we need to kill other than supply vehicles. Uh, so if we can take those out, that will just completely destroy the units. Okay, that's it. Job done. I think. <laughs> Yeah, there we go. <laughs> we didn't control the end of the arrow. Uh, when you're taking points on the edge of the map, always make sure you get the end of the arrow under your control, not like the main section of it. Uh, it's normally the end that that matters. All right, that's fine. We don't need to look through the stats. We only killed two units. But that's going to call in both of those, which will use up their action points, which is perfect. Uh, we destroy both of them uh, in the process. Very good. Okay, up here, um, I'm probably going to want to RT this unit, potentially, but I don't think I have anything in range to do so. Which means the 2nd Battalion of the 476th may have to move again. That's kind of awkward. We'll just keep that one there so they can reinforce on the ground if needs be. And, well, we've got to work out a way to free the 1st and 2nd Battalion, because they've truly surrounded and closed the gap. <laughs> we might be able to make a quick gap here. <laughs> we will see. Unfortunately, guys, it has been my time. We've had some success today, for sure. Especially shooting down a lot of their aircraft. But, yeah, we're definitely going to have to sort this out. <laughs> My poor elite regiments. Actually, these aren't even the super elite ones, but they're relatively elite. And they push through and they're in dire straits now. We're going to have to go save them. That's it for now, though. Thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.